Hey y'all, Sarah Lehu here, and today we are going to be playing a game called Deathmark. So, I saw this the other day when I went into GameStop to finally pick up the Spider-Man for the PS4. And, um, yeah, I don't know, it was just sitting on the shelf. It was like this limited edition box set thing. There's also, like, a fake tattoo set, some... What is this? An art book that says don't open. There's massive spoilers inside. Fatal spoilers. Fatal spoilers is what it says. And a CD and all that good stuff. I don't know. I was just drawn to it. It looked awesome on the shelf and everything. And sometimes I just get those feelings. Like I had the same thing with Nightcry. Nightcry just looked awesome and all that. And I really enjoyed Nightcry. And it's like, if it's singing true in my gut, maybe I should try it. And so I have no idea about this. I don't know if this is a series. I don't know if there's any context that I should be approaching this with. Um, like most things, I'm going in pretty blind. Actually, I'm going in blinder than most. I really just found this at GameStop. So we're going to uh, start it up. New game. Let's do this. Yeah, I don't know how else to put it other than, oh, schoolgirls. I know it's supposed to be a visual novel. I know that much. I looked at the back of the case. All right. So, hey, you want to hit up uh, the karaoke place? The new Love and Heroes song is out. I don't, I don't know karaoke that well. Is that... A, I'm imagining that's a made-up group, like a K-pop group, maybe. <laughs> hmm. I'm not feeling up to it today. The story creeped me out earlier. Do you want to hear it? Oh, sure. You remember Miss Yamaguchi? She wears those big glasses. I heard she's gone missing. What? No one knows where she is? No, she just disappeared. Just up and pooped from the library. Not the librarian. That's not that creepy. One of the student librarians said she was researching something there, but then she vanished. But she's super diligent, right? One of the students thought it was weird that she'd up and leave like that, so we checked in on her. But when he did... Spooky! Oh god! <laughs> oh crap! The only thing that was left was her arm. And that's the thing, that's the tattoo thing that I have. Um, it had her really weird scar on. I'm guessing that's the death mark. Um, so it was definitely her arm. A scar? Yeah, it looked like a dog bite. She showed it to me once. She had no idea where it came from. Hmm, for real? There was a scar like that on Mickey's leg too. Or Miki? Huh? Miki? Wait, that's... The girl who went missing, yeah. That's crazy! All these people that have gotten these weird dog bite marks are going missing. I wonder if it's like a spear dog. Demon dog? What would it be? Maybe that rumor is true. The one about the cursed scar. The death mark. Cut it out. You're scaring me. Off to karaoke. Up. Oh, there's another one. Look, his wrist. I hear snatches of an idiot. Oh, I hear snatches of an idiot. Ghost story. That's blue text. Inner monologue. They're speaking seriously. But it's obvious they don't believe a word. They're only killing time. Rumors are the best way to do that. The sun's about to set. It's gotten later than I planned. I should have stuck around to hear the story. I'd better hurry. Where are we hurrying off to? Our blood pressure is pretty high. <laughs> we must have a lot of anxiety. Or heart problems. Or, well, you know, death mark on our arm causing us constant anxiety. <laughs> Thunder rumbles in the distance. huge mansion is in front of me. Strange, I'm sure I was just... My vision blurs, my ears are buzzing. Ugh, my head's swimming, it's almost like I'm drunk. You know, I've only played a few visual novels, but are horror stories common for these? Because if so, I'd kind of be interested in, you know, more horror story visual novels and all that too. Because I don't know, well, I guess technically some of them that we've played have been but you know they didn't start out that way oh, I guess that might be common I don't know but yeah I don't know it was just the thought that struck my mind because it was like so far we've played and are picking back up some kind of more romantic themed ones but I guess one did turn so uh, we'll see anywho uh, my head swimming I was like I'm drunk 
What time is it? I glance at my wrist, but my watch is gone. Did I put it in my coat pocket? Maybe you should check for it. All I find is a business card. An elegant printed letters is a name. Saya Gujo, spirit healer. I'm hoping I'm saying these right. On the back of uh, the back is a photo of the mansion. I guess this must be Gujo Mansion. Kuju? Kuju? I don't know. I don't speak Japanese. <laughs> Saya Gujo. I just go with Kuju. <laughs> Uh, those names sound familiar somehow. Maybe I'm here to see this, Saya? One way to find out. Taking a deep breath, I reach out to knock. I stop when I see something on my wrist. Were you unaware of this? Are those the spirits of the damned underneath your hand? It's a strange scar. Do you, you, you see those, right? When did that... Could just be imagining this, but I feel an icy chill when I look at it. Hmm. It doesn't really look like a scar, though. Like scars are typically like super light and white, right? It's weird that it would just be red. I I think tattoo, but whatever. <laughs> kind of you know, like these fake tattoos I have over here. But well, my fist pounds on the door and no reply. Oh, light came on. A light appears in the second floor window. It's probably too far from the door for them to hear me knocking. Should I climb to the window? Go all outlast on this? I grab the doorknob and I find it unlocked. Who does this? I always see this happen in like movies and stuff. It's like, who goes around opening random doors? No point in staying outside other than courtesy. I'll just go in. I'll apologize to the owner later for breaking into their house. I suppose it wouldn't be so bad in Japan, but you know, America. That crap gets you shot. <laughs> oh my goodness, it looks just like in Mario the Music Box. <laughs> the inside is shrouded in darkness. It does, doesn't it? It looks like an artist rendering of it. Was there a clock there too? I feel like there was. <laughs> yeah, the inside is shrouded in darkness. That's what's important. A small beam of light from the window. I wonder if the layout's the same. No, it wouldn't be. It's not the same game. Once Mario... A horror-themed Mario, and the other is this, whatever this is. <laughs> so a beam of light from the window was the only- well, hmm. It's stupid that I'm comparing these, because they clearly have no connection whatsoever, but the opening screen was a forest, and there was, like, a forest behind the mansion in Mario. <laughs> Anywho. Um, but that was based on Luigi's Mansion, wasn't it? I don't know if Luigi's Mansion had a- forest behind it though. <laughs> Anywho, a small beam of light from the window is the only way I can see anything in here. It's dead silent except for the constant ticking of a clock second hand. I must be in the entrance hall. The atrium extends to the second floor. Anyone home? There's no reply to my shout. Maybe they've soundproofed this place so they can't hear me down here. Why would you soundproof a mansion? Other than murder. But, you know. I guess I need to go upstairs then. Why would that be your first idea? A staircase is just visible up ahead. I walk toward it, cutting across the hall. So we're a dude, but what kind of dude are we? That might help me understand my point of view here. My eyes catch a strange noise. I turn to look where it's coming from. We're a haunted dude, at least we know that much. Oh. Hello. Someone's there, enveloped by the dark. Hello, little gothic Lolita chick. I think they're staring at me. Ignore them, talk to them, approach them. It. Why did the music go like this? That, should I be concerned? Can I instant die on the first choice? I'll, I'll just. I'll just talk. It's probably just some gothic Lolita chick, probably. Hello. <laughs> Hello? I call out, but the person remains silent. Is she dead? I don't think I should ignore them. That's just not polite. <laughs> Gulping, I hesitantly make my way over. Trepidation slowing my steps. And if there's one thing I know about some Japanese horror mythology, it's politeness kind of pays, right? Oh, her eyes closed. It's a young girl. Can you please open your eyes? This makes it worse somehow. <laughs> she doesn't move an inch as I approach. At least it seems that way to me. She doesn't look like she's even breathing. A corpse. Great. I creep myself out. I start to sweat. What should I do? B. 
make sure she's dead? I don't know what to do here. I think that would just take me back to ignoring her. Please don't do anything weird. With a shaky hand, I slowly reach out and touch her skin. I'm not sure what I expected, but it feels unnatural somehow. Stiff and cold, like a corpse. She just sneeze? I press down on her arm. She makes a strange sound. Oh, makes the strange sound I heard earlier. That was a sneeze, right? Ah, now it makes sense. She's a doll. Oh. Alright then. <laughs> oh, it's creaking of joints. Okay. A doll's joints creak when they're moved. That's what made the noise. What a relief, if disappointing. Who just leaves a giant life-size doll down here? Whatever. Creepy mansions. Can't expect much. I carefully begin climbing the stairs, making sure not to trip. It's not like... As I reach the landing, the sharp sound of a bell breaks the silence. Midnight hour? Seems to be coming from above me. <laughs> Witching hour? What is it called? There are no hands on the clock! Looking up, I can spy the outline of the clock. I bet that's what's making the sound. Ah, oh, these are terrible choices! Did I, did I wait? Let's approach the clock. Maybe it will fall on me. How can we learn if not by attempting things? The noise guides me over. It's totally going to fall on us. <laughs> it's an antique grandfather clock. The noise is definitely coming from here. I reach toward the glass to check inside. I did not tell you to touch it, mister. <laughs> All of a sudden, it stops chiming. Silence descends, broken only by ticking. I guess it's fixed now, but that timing was a little too spot on. Was it really a coincidence? Are we not going to talk about how it no has no hands on it? Okay. All these strange occurrences make me uneasy. If I continue on to the room with a light. Knock. Tick. Tick. Stepping in front of the door, I knock. 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 But again, there's no reply. I try again, several times, even calling out, but there's still no answer. I push on the door. And there's blood on the floor! It's dark inside. Strange. I definitely saw lights on in here when I was outside. Wafting through the room is an odd smell. The smell of death. It's sugary, like a ripe fruit. The whole room is permeated with it. Some kind of aromatherapy, maybe? It's not a particularly pleasant smell, though. The aroma draws me further into the room. The floor under my feet feels off. It's totally blood, but why would it be sickly sweet? It's wet. Rotten sweet. Fruit sweet? I don't know. It's wet. I'm imagining sickly sweet. It dawns on me that I'm smelling something else mixed in with the sweet smell. I know the scent. This metallic tang. Blood! Oh, what... What was that? <laughs> Lightning flashes, I catch a glimpse of something? I just see... What did I see? Was that like some kind of Lovecraftian horror? <laughs> the startling grotesque object stretches out across the floor beneath my feet. I think I saw tentacles, but it could have just been circles? I don't know. Something strange is here. Stare at it! But then I might lose my sanity. That's how that works, right? Well, I guess... Stare at it! I want to see a closer look. Oh, okay, it was a lady. And were those flowers? Oh. It's so bizarre that I can't stop staring. E not flowers. This might be her organs? And strawberries. Molds? Fungus? Fungus, maybe. There's definitely leaves in there. Blooming flowers are everywhere. Okay, I guess they are flowers. Face is gone. Oh goodness, are those vines? Oh, they're vines! They're going up through her throat through her cheek. Oh, they centipedes on her legs. They're bursting out of the woman's stomach, her blood soaked body overwhelmed with them. I'm guessing the sickly sweet smell is the flowers? <laughs> I wrench my gaze away, horrified. But the hellish image has burned into my mind. I can feel my entire body shaking. Bile rises. I'm going to throw up! Uh. Why are there no trash cans? It's a study! There should be a trash can! Oh! Hello, ghostie. This your doing? And 
bandits gone, but the blood remains. The next instant, the lights are on. Wait, that's not all. The body is gone, leaving only a stain. This doesn't make sense. It's a bad dream. At least, I'd really much prefer it was. But the faint smell that remains and the blood stain crush any hope I had of that. I beat her retreat from the room in an effort to escape the whole bizarre situation. So is that our medium? Our spirit healer? It's not a good sign, I take it. <laughs> when I stumble back into the hall, the lights are on in here as well. Is our doll still here? Hmm. I decide to have an air look around. All the furnishings in here are old enough to be antiques. They match the old-fashioned mansion. Oh, she is, and her eyes are open again. A large doll sits on a couch. This must be the figure I saw in the dark. One would easily mistake this for a human if they couldn't see the ball joints. Probably belongs to the owner of the mansion. So, what do I do now? Contact the police? Her stomach was full of flour, sir. And the corpse up and vanished like fog. I mean, there's blood there, but... Mm, like anyone would believe that. I mean, the blood's... Welcome to Kuja Mansion! Was that you, Missy? It all moved and it spoke. Am I going to have to turn off any kind of voice acting? It all moved, it spoke. A different kind of shudder runs through me than the one when I found the clips. I might have to do that. I didn't think I would, but up until this point, I was nothing more than an observer to all these freaky events. I could distance myself from it, but now, Doll is talking to me. Have I startled you? If so, I sincerely apologize. My master ordered me to behave as a normal doll until told otherwise. The words are elegant and refined, not like my voice. But her voice never moves an inch. She may look human, but she is clearly isn't. Okay, so I lucked out there. She's not voice acting. <laughs> I think I had to do that for something else. She slowly folds her hands together. It's probably one of the Danian Rampa games where they had. Well, maybe not Danian Rampa. I know there was something that had a Japanese voice acting on that I had to turn off. Science Gate, that was probably what it was. She slowly folds her hands together. So she can move too. I am sorry for not introducing myself. I am called Mary. You have likely seen a number of oddities here already. Like, one, besides you. <laughs> I see. My master Sayakujo was unable to escape from the mark then. I could you, you mean the core so it was her great I'm fantastic but wait what's this about a mark lady sire was searching for a way to escape from the mark were you not also called here by her because of the mark on your arm are you reading my mind because I don't think I've spoken words to you it must be talking about this weird scar Sire Gujo invite me to this mansion I try to remember my head hurts I have something to tell you in place of my late master, but I would like to ask one thing first. Do you know your own name? Well, that was a much simpler question than I had been expecting. It's, um... Ah. Uh, um... <laughs> do I get to name myself, or... I break out into a sweat. My throat is drying up. I... Why can't I answer? I don't know who I am, do I? I didn't even know why I was here. <laughs> I'm shocked to find I'm coming up blank. I see. Then it is as I thought. Somehow Mary knows what's go oh, somehow Mary knows what's going on with me. She's even invading my mind. Before I offer an explanation. Oh, please decide on a temporary name. Things will go much easier if I have a name by which to call you. It is also likely you will find it hard to remain calm if you are nameless. Hmm, she's probably right. Better to have some placeholder name than continue life as a hollow nameless being. Enter protagonist name. Uh, protagonist last name, up to ten letters. Yeah, she, I can just go with a normal name or I can do something stupid. Hmm, what should I do? 
to give myself a proper name. <laughs> hmm. Let me think on it. Give me one second. You know, when in doubt, name them after celebrities. <laughs> that will just... That's where we're going with. Last name Sheeran, first name Ed. <laughs> oh, goodness. This is silly. Anyhow. Yeah. I don't know. I couldn't think of anything properly, silly. I was thinking about, like, maybe doing something like Baby Doll Sweet or Sweet Baby Doll. And things like that. And I was like, nah. That'd be boring. I don't want anybody going around calling me Baby Doll. And it would be confusing because I call would probably call her Baby Doll. I call all of my female characters, like, Baby Doll and stuff. So it doesn't... Makes sense to just... You know. Anywho, yeah, so it's going to be Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran, you have entered the game of death. All right, Ed Sheeran, okay? Cannot be changed after this. Well, I'm committing to it. Oh my god, we can customize his appearance. Can I make him a redhead? <laughs> okay, glasses and beard. Beard. Well, if I knew his appearance properly, I probably would have done differently with this. Oh well. Ed Sheeran is now a glasses and bearded older Japanese guy. <laughs> I don't know if he's actually old because it's Japan and anime. Anybody could be any age. <laughs> I'm Ed Sheeran. Yes, that's who I am. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> Understood, Lord Sheeran. Now, I shall explain to you about the mark. <laughs> this is stupid. Alright, it is, it is the seal of death. You might have been able to figure that out by all those creepy hands, and I think those are eyeballs underneath one of them. Just reach and claw at your hand. Those who have it will die soon. Is this based on an actual Japanese legend or something? Because I feel like this is a familiar thing. You do not believe me? Well, I guess the mark of death has been around in most mythologies. I am certain those, this sounds absurd to the one, to one who has led an uneventful life. However, my master's death proves it to be irrefutably true. The corpse, oh, the corpse's sweet stench comes back to me. That didn't seem like the work of humans. It must have been spirits. I'm afraid that the horror of the mark does not stop there. Victims slowly lose their memories until the day they die. Oh, joy, dementia, and death. This isn't depressing at all. They face death all the while suffering from the terror of losing oneself. Memory loss? That can't be. That did mean that I'm in maybe final stages of it? Yes. The fact that you have forgotten your name proves that death is coming. Lord Sheeran, you... We'll die this very dawn. Death mark. Yay! <laughs> so we have till dawn to find out how to remove the mark. My memory skipped forward a bit after that. I just remember being completely stunned at what Mary revealed to me. I can probably attribute it to memory loss caused by the mark. So are we just going to skip around here? Next thing I know. The blood is gone. Okay, so I guess we can have caught the police. But I'm lying in a guest room in the mansion. Then again, what would cops have done against a ghost? I vaguely recall dragging myself up the stairs and coming here. I must have fallen asleep at some point, and thanks to that, I feel a lot better. When, you know, you have... Your life hanging by a thread. Just go to bed. You'll be fine. <laughs> I'll die at dawn, huh? Better to sleep a couple hours and make sure I'm closer to that deadline. <laughs> I try saying it out loud. It's definitely shocking, but I can't say it feels real yet. It doesn't make sense. Way out of the blue. But if it's true, I'm waiting for my untimely death. The only thing I can do? It might be a good idea to ask Mary more about it. <laughs> Oh, was that question? Was that, is waiting the only thing I can do? That's probably it. I don't read well. I find Mary sitting in the exact same spot as before. She hasn't moved an inch. I doubt a doll gets bored waiting like humans do. Good morning, Lord Sheeran. Are you feeling better now? Yeah, I feel terrible. Yeah, no, um, he said he felt better. He felt better. Um, that is good to hear. Since it appears that you have calmed down, I would like to ask you a question. What will you do now? 
I can guide you down only two paths. The first is to wait for death. The second is to fight the mark. Can you help me? If that is what you wish, yes. My master was researching the mark. A few days prior to her death, she found a way to escape it. Regretfully, she passed away before she was able to inform me. So, she doesn't know anything after all. There is some time yet before dawn. Um, maybe we can go over her research? You have a slim chance. Salvation is a thin thread hang dangling from heaven. Would you would, eh, would that you would grab hold of it, and I shall do my utmost to help. What will you do? I guess it boils down to whether I trust her. If she's right about all this, my time on Earth is up at dawn. If I don't want to die, then they sell their choice, but to resist the mark until then. If she's lying, I'll be fine when morning comes. But am I really alright with that? People are being killed in nonsensical, grotesque ways. Am I going to turn a blind eye to it? Can I save? Okay, that's not saving. Is this saving? Hmm. I'm trying to see if there's a way I can save. Because if we get an option here, I kind of want to. But I just do. This is a life or death decision. Okay, I think. Oh no, did I turn. No, that was. Oh, what? What did I do? I need to think about it carefully. Whatever. I mean. Live or die. See, I figured this was coming. <laughs> I want to say. <laughs> oh, wait. Option? No, option says my love. Dang it. Deadly choice. You'll be faced with choices that can result in death. There's limited time, and your soul power will continue to drain. Time's up, or wrong answers will result in game over. So be quick, Ed. But also careful in finding the right answer. I would, I would like a save option. Game. Game box. Do you give me save options? Oh, there is a little thing in here. Give me an option to save. Save, 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 save. Square save. But I'm already past all the text. Damn it. Ah, oh, right answer. Restoring soul power. Completing a deadly choice for soul so restore some soul power. Accelerated dialogue. Oh, that's what I did. Dialogue will be sped up while pressing the L1 button, but certain dialogue cannot be sped up. Okay, so I guess I didn't skip over anything. That's good to know. Backlog. The options button will display previous dialogue. Auto mode. R1 button will activate auto mode. And hiding the dialogue window. You can hide the dialogue window by pressing the triangle button. I guess to get better pictures or looks at screen picture things. Or those called stills. Pressing the triangle button. And I shall ask you if I can say you. Okay, that's not doing anything. Damn you, Box, you lied to me! I shall ask you, will you quietly wait for death or struggle against the mark? I shall... I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna just die for the fun of it. Just to see what we get. Death! I choose death! Wrong. Yeah, I know what's wrong. I chose that purpose. <laughs> then you meekly accept your death by the mark. Yeah, I'm gonna accept it. Let me die. Let me die, damn it! I'm accepting my death. What's wrong for you may be right for me. Is that so? Then please rest here in the mansion until dawn. Good night. Uh, game over. Oh, I just went to game over. Boo, boo you. <sighs> Decide again. I thought we might get like a death screen or something. I thought, oh, whatever. Live or die. Yes, yes, I shall fight. I shall struggle. I shall do all that is good and right in the world. Or else I guess I just get game over with no fun death. Back here, baby, you have to win. All modes. Blah, blah, blah. Hiding dialogue. Yeah, gotcha. And I shall ask you, will you quietly wait for death or struggle against the mark? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a struggle. 
I'm gonna fight that mark. Fight it! Gotta get all that safe. Gotta get all that sweet soul power. And I survived! Whoa! Look at that. <laughs> I have decided to trust you. As you say, Lord Sheeran. Then I shall carry out your the dying wish of my master and aid you. I cannot do much, but feel free to request anything you wish of me. So, I guess we got a mystery on our hands. I made up my mind, but that doesn't mean I know what I should do. I know squat about the super supernatural, and losing my memory makes research impossible. But I don't have a moment to lose. Luckily, you have me on your side, Ed Sheeran. I will help you to survive with the limited knowledge I have of ghost stories. Although I did watch a lot of Japanese stuff in the day. Like Japanese horror stories. Or were those Korean? I know there were some Korean ones that I thought were Japanese. Like Memento Mori and all that. Anywho, I have a limited knowledge of Asian ghosts. So we will see what we can do with that. Knock comes from the front door. Who'd come here this late at night? Is it an... Another person? She did say she invited people, right? As in multiple. Oh my god, my stomach is growling so much. <laughs> oh my, what a sign of fate. It seems that another Merc Bear- Oh, the other Merc Bearers have arrived, so more than one. Is it instinct that she knows these things? Maybe she has some kind of mysterious power, being a talking doll and all. I beg your pardon, Lord Sheeran. I do apologize, but could you go greet the guests in my stead? You can't walk, can you? You're just a doll. They may experience shock if a doll such as myself welcomes them. Okay. So you can walk? Moreover, while I am able to move my arms, I am not unable to walk. Okay, well, you should have led with that, darling. I moved to the front door to greet my other guests. Or our guests. They're not really my guests. Her guest? This is a, I'm feeling weirdly possessive about this mansion all of a sudden. People fade to die. Like me. I wonder what they're like. Hello, new friends. Who I find at the door. Not who I'd expect to see out this late at night. Oh, a little schoolgirl. A high schooler? A small boy. A elementary schooler? These kids have the mark? No way. Dick move, Mark. And, um... Oh, we came to see Professor Cujo. Who are you? I can't say I'm a total stranger since I am here in the mansion. I'm, uh, her disciple, her relative, her boyfriend. <laughs> oh, God, that seems so sleazy. Nah, I, I'm tempted. I am tempted, but... I'm going to be... Such a terrible liar if I say this. I, I, all of these are horrible lies. Her disciple would be uh, like, Hey guys, I'm my disciple. I totally know all about the spirit stuff. And he's just like, I know squat, so I can't do that. That's so sleazy. But then I wouldn't know anything about her. I would be expected to know something about her with either of these, but I'd probably be expected to know more about her if I was her boyfriend. So I'm going to go with a relative. Oh, so you're her older brother? Her eyes do look kind of similar. Maybe I am related to her. She seems to know Sayakujo. Yeah, that would have been terrible if I went with anything else. <laughs> now that I think about it, that business card did say Spirit Healer. Are those popular with the kids these days with the fortune tellings and stuff, maybe? Going off this girl's accessories, I get the feeling she's a huge occult fan. Oh, yeah, she does have, like, a lucky coin and, like, spirit beads and things like that. Oh, there's something else on her. Hi, Mo Watanabe. Yeah, she has also stuff on her backpack. Neat. Anywho. I'm here to talk to her about this article she wrote in Oop Arts Monthly. O-O-P Arts. <laughs> she pulls an occult magazine out of her bag. Inside it is a picture of the mark. The accompanying article says the scar is a soul-inhibiting disease that erases memories. Inquire, could you imagine? Um... Oh, she's talking great. This is the same scar, right? I suppose. Mo lifts her skirt up a bit to show me her leg. Oh, dear. <laughs> right there on her right thigh is the mark. Okay, it's safe. It's safe because she's just showing us the mark. It's nothing bad. 
Although you shouldn't be looking up high school girls' skirts as bad. All right, I think I know what this... Oh, I think I know what the article means by erasing memories. I've been super forgetful lately. I'm even blanking on my friends' names. That's never happened to me before. Do you think the scar's doing it? That article is obviously bogus. The young boy scoffs. Even kids know better than to believe in ghosts or curses these days. And the high schooler fell for it. You must feel embarrassed about that. <laughs> but, Sukasa, weren't you hanging around out in front of the mansion's gate? Fess up, your scar scares you. Uh, Sukasa seems to have no retort to that. He silently sulks. Looks like a bullseye. Where's your mark? It's clear they're both mark bearers. I better bring them over to meet Mary. <laughs> Great, I'm in charge of children now. Can I save here? Mo, is it Mo or Moe? I don't remember. Mo, sh I'm just going with Mo. Mo shrieks excitedly when she gets this. I feel like we've had another character with this name, but I can't remember. Oh my god, it's so cute! It's a doll, yeah? I've never seen one this big before. The craftsmanship is so detailed. It's almost like it's alive. They're both admiring her when... Welcome to Pujo Mansion. What? He even spoke? With that, the two new visitors join our number. They enter this monstrous world that hovers over the precipice of death. Mary tells Mo and Tsukasa about the mark once they regain their composure. All about the steady memory loss and their imminent death. It sounds like a ridiculous story, but it gains validity validity um coming from someone like her both of their faces pale now if you came specifically here because you believe lady saya's article you must have already hmm. sorry just thought about that you must have already experienced the pain of losing your memories i mean i admitted as much earlier but uh sees Gus's face darken mo mo God, I need to look up the pronunciation. So, it must be happening to him, too. Hey, Mo, I'd like to confirm something. Where, you, where were you when you got the mark? My amnesia seems to be worse than theirs, so maybe I've had it longer. Mo, pronunciation. Sorry, just trying to make sure. So, they might remember. I'm not positive, but I think my mark might be a curse from Hanahiku. Hanahiko? Hiko? God damn, so many <laughs> freaking names. Let's see, country room. How do you pronounce me? Thank you, thank you, country room. Let's see. How do you pronounce it, damn it? I'm getting definitions, I'm not getting pronunciation. Yes, it is Moe. Mo Moe? Mo no, Moe. There's an H after it. I'm going with Moe. <laughs> Anahiku. Hiko. This name. Oh, this name is familiar to me. He is the ghost of. Uh, he is the ghost the resident children of the town whisper about, correct? My master was interested in him. So Sayakujo was curious too. Could be connected to the mark somehow. I'd like to hear more about this ghost. As you wish, Lord Sheeran. Ghost story times. Then I shall tell you the rumors of Hanahiku. Oh, okay, it's on auto. <laughs> Chapter one, Hanahiku. <laughs> Looks like you got quite a few victims there. And I see trees and such, so I'm assuming, uh, yeah, probably your work. Oh, did you hear about the ghost boy all the schools in each city are talking about? Sounds like Hanahiku is back. I heard that he can appear if you peek in a school mirror at night. This seems like it's probably important. A highlighted mirror there. He'll ask you something. Am I pretty? Say I don't know! If you tell him no, you'll be fine, but if you say yes... Give me that red stuff then. <laughs> and then he just disappears. What's that red stuff? But that's not all. Hanahiko hates adults, you know? I heard that if the person he asks is an adult, they'll die. 
And not just drop dead. Their blood is drained from them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I'm an adult. And the next and next to the corpse is a single red rose. I'm assuming red. Single rose. A rose dripping with blood. So it is red. Because of the blood. Paint the rose is red. Paint the rose is red. Red with blood. Alright, rumors can be oh, rumors can be easily manipulated, passing from one person to another. Assumptions and errors mix in. But they also hold a hint of truth. So, let me think about this. So if he asks that if he is pretty or not, we tell him, No! No, you are not pretty. Horrible, horrible child. And we should be safe. However, if we answer yes, then he'll want the red stuff. And assuming that he murders the adults, the red stuff could mean blood or it could mean something else. Should we test it or probably not? Probably, that'd be probably bad. Anyhow, hint of truth. Miss Moe, do you know anything else? Uh, I think I probably got my mark when I was investigating Hanahiku at the eight, sorry, H elementary school. This has got to be some sort of clue. I should ask her more about it. Why were you at H elementary? Was Hanahiku there? When did you notice the mark? She just said it. Okay, we're not that amnesia. Um, probably why was she there? That seems like the easiest answer. My big dream is to write about the occult, so I'd love to see a ghost. I found this article in a magazine mentioning Hanahiku was seen there. I figured that place would be easier to sneak in than a regular school, since it's been closed down. What should I ask next? Was Hanahiku there? Hmm. Yeah, God, I'm belching now, too. <sighs> this is embarrassing. Henny, uh, I don't think so. I can't really say for sure. I went to the mirror. But a shiver suddenly ran down my spine. I got spooked and left. What should I ask next? So... Oh, yeah, okay. So if she got the death mark from Hanahiku, then it was probably because she didn't answer the question? Yeah, that sounds like a likelihood. So maybe we're all death marked because we didn't go along with the ghost games. Except because that's, like, a common thing with different... Japanese ghosts, is they all have like certain rules and stuff that you have to abide by. All that, like, what is it? That weird kappa, kappa, yeah, kappas. You have to bow to them to make the water like fall over their head, and then that weird like multi-legged centipede one. You have to allow it to go before you and stuff, and then you'll be fine and things like that. So if you don't play the game, though, you lose. Anywho, what should I ask next? When did you notice the mark? I noticed it later in the bath. A strange scar was suddenly on my thigh. It really surprised me. I realized immediately that it had to be what Professor Koji wrote about. I think I have a handle on what's happening. Or what has happened. No way to know for sure about the ghost. But there's no denying she had the mark after returning home from H Elementary. Then maybe... Tsukasa glances down at his left hand. Mine might be from Hanahiko, too. I noticed it after I got home from Tea Elementary. That ghost was seen at a lot of schools in each city, right? Maybe he remembered something. I better ask him some questions, too. Tea Elementary? I, I go to school there. You've probably heard of it since it's the top-ranked elementary in Age City. I'm such a prestigious little boy. Anywho, uh, what should I ask next? Uh, when was that? And did you see him? When was it? Maybe around sunset? I was heading home until I realized I forgot something and turned back. What should I ask next? Did you see him? No, I, I didn't get chills or anything either. Oh, but I think I passed a mirror. I went to the bathroom before going home. I don't think he knows anymore. Their stories are pretty similar to Hanahiku rumors. That can't be just a coincidence. Don't ignore a ghost. Anywho. You must investigate the places where Hanahiku appeared. For the, their sake as well as yours. I must protect the children! Ah, uh, that's well, well and good, but... What exactly am I investigating? Death and life coexisting. If the mark originated there, then a way to erase it will also be there. You must find it. F 
Find the key you need to break the Mark's curse. That is the only way to escape. And all of a sudden, a huge burden was dropped on my shoulders. So now, I have to make sure I survive before the sun rises, and then I also have to save two kids' lives. Maybe I have more time with kids' lives, though, if I can figure out my own. It seems like Hanahiku appeared. Oh, it seems like Hanahiku appeared at two schools. Where will you investigate? Well, T Elementary is supposed to be the more prestigious of the others, and she did say that H would probably be the easier to get into. Because, was it abandoned or something? I don't... I don't remember what she was saying. But she managed to get in. She's like a high schooler. But then again, a high schooler would be less suspicious if they are like, picking up a kid. However, he might have access to the T elementary, being a student there and all. And I might be... Uncle? I think I might be in uncle range. Mm, who is more recent? She actually got the chill, though. So this seems like... Who was more recent, though? Dang it, I wasn't paying enough attention. Alright, we're going with H. I'm just going to trust you on this. Yeah, that's probably wise. They need a rescue on the spot if you try to sneak into a regular school. See, yeah, I thought it was abandoned. I am a middle-aged man who can't recall his name, let alone address or a job title, who is still in the name of Ed Sheeran, sneaking into a school with two kids. Yeah, that doesn't look shady at all. I'd have no excuses if I got caught. All right, want to get going then? Let's do this. Oh, that, that was her. W wait, you're coming too? Uh, of course. I haven't given up on seeing Hanahiko yet. She grins at me. If she Is she really strong, or is this blind optimism? Maybe blind optimism. I'm going to... Hey, not you too. Seriously? My life's on the... Oh, my life's on the line here. I don't want to, the reason I die to be because you messed something up. Golly, you have such an adorable face, but you're so snarky under it. That's pretty bold. Good thing you're cute. <laughs> but to bring kids along with me is... Extra burden. I understand your hesitation, but the mark does not discriminate stealing lives of children and adults. If they wish to fight their fate, you should honor that. I suppose human logic does not lie when dealing with the supernatural. We'll need to prepare ourselves for the worst if we're going to survive. Please, take only one mark bearer with you, however. A large group will increase the odds of you being detected by spirits. Isn't that what we want? <laughs> I also ask that you not waste time dawdling with others on the way. It is possible unnecessary contact may have effects on the mark. Only engage when absolutely necessary. Keep contact with others to a minimum. Have a safe trip. Okay. Selecting a partner. First, select a mark bearer. Do this in the partner menu. Oh yeah, hey mister. Don't you think it'd be a good idea to take notes on what Mary's told us? Your memory's getting worse all the time. We don't want to forget anything. I don't know when I'll lose my memory again. I'll write down all this information. And I get to keep it in my file. Something in it might just save our lives at some point. Save page? Save page. New info is added to the spirit file. Rumors of Hanahiku other. Spirit file. Important info on spirits will be added to the spirit file. Check it from your bag. Sold it if you need help. Saving and loading, yes! Save at the mansion haunts. Return to the title screen from the bag to load. Then choose continue. Also, would it be under system? No, that's not it. Alright, bag. Bag save. Or save. No save. Oh my god, I have power, intelligence, spirit power. My spirit power is weak. My dexterity is slightly better than my power or intelligence. Uh, my intelligence and power don't seem bad. What's this? Oh, that's my spirit file. Mark for more. She is female, high school student, high school girl, that's the code, blah blah blah. Quirky, energetic, cheerful. Always much as to be of her own germ. Good for her. And, uh, Sukasa, elementary school student and male. Young blood from prestigious private school, up room, wealthy upbringing, makes him polite and courteous, but he can be inseparable at times. When he's in danger, he's truly egotistical. self centered nature peeks through. Oh, God! 
You chill there, baby boy! <laughs> it was just waiting for me to get to that line, wasn't it? Does your face change? I'm just waiting to see if it, it'll alter it all. That'd be fine. Okay. Okay, how do I... Whoops. No, 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 that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. No, I needed to save you, lie. Just the bring where No, no. A large group will increase the odds of being detected by steers. Don't waste time dawdling. It's possibly unnecessary contact. Yes, okay, just go back, go back, go back, go back to the bag, to the bag, to the bag. I want to go back to the bag. Contact to a minimum. Okay, good. Whew. System. There had to be. All right. Do I do? No? Okay, I saw it there. Oh, I hit options here. Awesome! Alright, yeah! I knew I'd figure it out. Saving complete! Alright. But I think that's where we're going to end it for today, since you know, get to a good save point. Oh, I can also just hit the square there. Oh, okay. So that was a quick save I just did. This is a better save. This is the save I want to do. Alrighty then. Save is complete! Okay, so, thoughts and opinions so far. Um, it's interesting, I'll give it that. We're not really any, in, eh, into anything too scary just yet. You know, we got some interesting little images and things like that to work with, but, you know, not too spooky. Not too spooky at all. Just yet. I'm hoping it's more spooky. <laughs> but, yeah, no. It's at least interesting. All that. Like, I do like the Japanese ghost aspect of it and all that, and that it seems to be actually going with the rule system, I suppose, is what you would call the predator. As I don't know, Western ghosts and stuff, there are no rules. They show up, they haunt your shit, they throw things all around the room, and you can't do much about them except maybe bring in a priest to try to do an exorcism, and then the priest is just uh, like, exercise you, and it may or may not work. Yeah, if the demon's too powerful or some shit, it might kill the priest and everybody in the house, too. <laughs> Western ghosts are really... Really kind of horrible. <laughs> like, there is no chance of surviving that crap. But this, you know, there are rules to it. You have a chance here, and I like that. I like that we're actually going to get to play around with that. And we'll get to learn about some actual ghosts and everything along the way, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm wondering who I should actually bring with me though for the next part because on one hand you have Sukasa who's all like oh I'm a prestigious wealthy smart child and blah 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 and so he might be smart but he's also it said like egotistical and self-centered when he's endangered so he'd probably just like freaking up and leave us run off and all that if any danger got super real on the other hand we have Moe and thing with her is, uh, like, she knows about the occult, so that's a good positive and stuff. And But the blind optimism and all that, I'm not sure I like. Like, that sounds potentially dangerous. Like, you know, she's too happy, too cheery. She could be blind to some dangerous situations. And if I'm also blind to those dangerous situations, then I might be an idiot. But I have the feeling she would stick by us. So I'm thinking probably going with her just for a safe bet on it. And Tsukasa's a little rich boy, but might be more comfortable in this mansion than we are. Plus, he'd have Mary looking after him, so there's that. Alright, I think I might go with Maya next time. But that's going to be it for now. If you have any suggestions, please do let me know. And uh, until then, like and subscribe if you guys want to. And thank you for watching.